today we are going to learn about networks in our daily life we come across different types of networks example network of roads railway lines canals etc communication network of telephone system that enables us to talk to anyone anywhere anytime network of banks or atms automated teller machines radio television network that broadcast programs live across the globe network of malls schools hospitals etc all over the country imagine life without networking no phone no radio no television etc it is unbelievable similarly computer networks that connect millions of computers together have also become an integral part of our life these days they have extended the power of a computer beyond the expanse of a room internet is an outcome of cyber networking only let us understand the concept of computer networks in detail let us first talk about the computer network and its components a computer network can be defined as a group of computers and other peripheral devices that are linked together for the purpose of sharing data and hardware resources for example if one of the computers in the network has a printer attached to it then all the computers in that network can access the printer and use it to print the documents as shown in the following figure where computer a and b in a network can give the print command to the printer attached with computer c the computers in the network can communicate with each other as well as work independently each computer in a network is called a node one of these nodes acts as a sender that transmits the information to other nodes in the network known as receivers these computers are linked with each other through some medium such as cables telephone lines radio waves or infrared light beams let us understand a computer network as a data communication system with the help of the following figure it consists of the following parts number 1 message it is the information to be communicated it can contain text pictures audio video etc number 2 sender sender is a computer workstation mobile phone or tablet that sends the data message through web browser number 3 receiver receiver is a device that receives the data messages it can also be a computer workstation tablet or mobile phone number 4 transmission medium it is the physical path through which the message travels from the sender to the receiver twisted pair cable coaxial cable fiber optic cable and radio waves are some common examples of it number 5 protocol a protocol specifies a set of rules that governs the data communication without a protocol the data cannot be exchanged between two communicating devices Now let us talk about the advantages of networking. Networking in computers brings efficiency, economy and effectiveness in an organization. Efficient use of storage media. It is better to store a shareable application data on a network drive than to store a copy of the application on each user's storage device. It is better to have one big hard disk in the server than to have small hard disk in different computers. preserving information it is difficult to maintain regular backups on a number of stand alone computers when you keep backups on a central location you have one place to look for the lost information reduction in hardware cost in a network the hardware devices that are not used very often like modems printers scanners cd writers etc can be shared this reduces the cost of the hardware efficiency in a network the deletion modification or upgradation of the software or data is to be done at a single point only this brings more efficiency and effectiveness into the working system redundancy a network reduces the need for hard copies of all documents 
by sharing the soft copy of a file over the network. The need to share paper copies of reports or any other information can be eliminated or greatly reduced. Quickest Document Delivery Networking provides a facility to instantly deliver soft copies from one computer to the other computers throughout the world. Ok students, let us understand about the networking media. Data can be transmitted from one location to another by using wires or without the use of wires. Wired Networking Technology Ethernet Cables An Ethernet cable is one of the most popular form of network cable used in wired networks. This cable resembles a phone cable but is larger than the phone cable and has 8 wires. Ethernet cables connect various devices such as PCs, routers and switches within a local area network. The advantage of these cables is that they have less power consumption. But the drawback with these cables is that the computer requires an Ethernet adapter card on the motherboard to connect the Ethernet cable. These cables also have their limitations, both in the distance that they can stretch and still carry proper signals and their durability. There are mainly two types of Ethernet cable. Crossover cable. It is basically designed for connecting two computers without a hub or router. Straight through cable. This type of cable has got both its ends identical to each other. It is used to connect a computer to a router or a switch. Coaxial Cables A coaxial cable is used in the transmission of video, communications and audio. It is mainly used by the cable television industry to connect TVs to a cable TV service. However, this cable can also be used in networks and has high bandwidth and greater transmission capacity. A coaxial cable consists of central copper wire surrounded by insulation and then a shield of braided wire. It is relatively inexpensive and can transmit data at higher rates. It also provides better immunity against electromagnetic disturbances. The only disadvantage associated with coaxial cable is its high installation and maintenance cost. The two main types of coaxial cable are Baseband coaxial cable. It supports quick transmission of a single signal at a time. It is mainly used for LANs. Broadband coaxial cable. It transmits multiple signals at the same time and is used for longer distances. Optical fiber cable. Fiber optics is a popular technology that has a larger capacity to transfer data at a very high speed. A fiber optic cable consists of a central glass core containing a bundle of glass threads surrounded by several layers of protective materials. The glass threads are capable of transmitting data converted into light signals at extremely high speed. A fiber optic cable is highly resistant to signal interference and provides better data transmission by providing high bandwidth. Presently, a fiber optic cable is a popular technology for local area networks. But in the future, almost all communications will employ fiber optics. However, it is fragile and the maintenance cost is high. Wireless Networking Technology Bluetooth Bluetooth is a communication technology that uses low-power radio waves to connect electronic devices wirelessly. It allows users to talk and share information like voice, music and videos. It establishes short-range communication between phones, computers and other network devices. It is mainly used for personal area networks with a maximum transmission range of up to 240 meters depending on the Bluetooth version in use. This technology eliminates the use of cables and adapters. The presence of Bluetooth icon indicates that the device is enabled with Bluetooth. Infrared Technology Infrared technology is a short-range communication technology that covers approximately 5 meters of distance. It is used to exchange information between computers, cellular telephones and faxes by emitting infrared waves through infrared 
LEDs. Infrared communication take place between two devices at a time. Infrared network signals cannot penetrate walls or other obstructions and work only in a direct line of sight. These waves or signals are focused into a narrow beam through a plastic lens which is further converted into electronic signals by the receiver. Remote control is the most common example of infrared communication. Wi-Fi Wi-Fi stands for wireless fidelity. It creates a wireless local area network that uses radio waves to send the information. A secure, reliable and fast wireless connection is established between the electronic devices and the internet by using this technology. The devices require a wireless adapter connected to them to capture the Wi-Fi signals. Wi-Fi offers the following advantages. Wi-Fi has replaced the wired medium completely and can be used to connect to internet anywhere at any time. It is relatively inexpensive and can also be accessed at places where cables cannot be installed. One can connect multiple devices through Wi-Fi. However, there are some limitations too. It has high power consumption. It is slower than the wired medium. The transmission breaks or slows down when there is noise interference.